Hello everyone, good day. Welcome again to this channel guys, reviewers.ph And if you are new here, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon guys para ma-notify po kayo guys pag may bagay tayong mga uploads katulad nito, no? So, last time guys, we were talk about yung sa ano, no? Yung mga tenses and now for for today's session, we're going to talk about pronouns guys, so stay tuned and watch this video till the end kasi may mga points guys na pwede natin i-apply sa exam, okay? So, see you there! Alright guys, so let's talk about pronouns. So, let's define first what is pronouns. A pronoun is a closed set of nominals whose reference are established in context. It is a word that takes the place of a noun. Okay, so pronoun classification. So there are nine kinds of pronouns according to meaning and function. So it has nine classification, guys. So let's start with the number one, the personal pronouns. Okay, no, as you can see, it has subjective, objective, possessive, or attributive, then possessive or predicative. Okay, as you can see, this, this, the, there, uh, there is a singular and the plural, guys. It has first degree until to third degree. No, it has. Male or female, then a neuter. Okay, so let's start with, with the word I. All right, I if it is subjective, then objective, if, 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 me, then possessive. We use my if it is possessive in a sentence, and we use mine if it is predicative in the sentence. Okay, so the second is you. We use you guys, no? Then, ang nak nakakaiba, nagkakaiba lang na yan is yung your sa attributive and your sa predicative, okay? Then, the third degree is he, then him, then his, his, and then she, then her, her, then hers. Then, sa neuter guys, letter N, as you can see, the word is it. It's objective and it's supposition. Okay, so let's proceed to plural, guys. In a in a, ano, in a sentence, we. Then if it's objective, it is as. Then if it's attributive, we use are and ours and predicatives. Okay, ano lang yung guys? No, basahin yung lang guys until the third part. No, so they, the new. Okay, let's move to, to number two, which, which is the rel relative pronouns, guys. It has also subjective and objective as well as possessive, no? So, in human, guys, we use who, then whom, and whose. Okay, so uh, you have to familiarize that words, guys, no? Kasi yun yung gagamitin sa, ano, guys, sa sentence, no? To non-human naman, sa like mga bagay-bagay, no? Things, we use which... And then that, okay. All right. So let's proceed to the number three, demonstrative pronouns. So D one, then and then D two. So in singular and plural, we use these and these, that and those. Okay. So number four is interrogative. No, as you can, as you ha what I have said, interrogative is you asking question. No. So, eliciting, uh, human and non-human, then selecting. So, it has objective, objective, and possessive. So, we use who in human, then whom, then whose. Then, sa non-human naman, what. And the selecting, we use which. Okay? So, let's read number five, guys. It's indefinite, singular. The compound forms, some, any, no, every, one, body, and thing. Okay? You have to familiarize that, guys, ha? Right, next is another or one another, then none, no one. So, the plural naman guys, we use both many, few, several, and others. And the singular or plural naman, according to sense, we use all, most, and some. Okay, number six is impersonal. We use one. And for distributive, we use each and either or neither. So, number eight is reflexive. 
It has singular and plural guys, first person, second person, third person. So it has also male, female, and neuter. So we have to familiarize lang guys, no? We use myself in singular, then plural in ourselves, yourself, himself, herself, and itself. Okay? So familiar familiarize lang guys, no? Para sa grammar yan, no? Pronouns. And then number nine is reciprocal. We use each, other, and one another. Okay? Okay, let's proceed to forming the possessive of nouns. So, read this. Generally, the possessive case is formed by adding apostrophe S to the singular noun or plural noun, which does not end in the plural suffix S, or only an apostrophe to the plural noun ending in S. So, example, the president's daughter. So, apostrophe S siya, guys. And then, the president's first ladies. Then, apostrophe lang i-add. Okay? So, my neighbor's girlfriend, then farmer's organization. So, we have to, ano guys, no? we have to be vigilant sa mga words na ito guys, no? Kasi, ito yung inahanap pag may mga error, no? Sa mga error question. So, dapat talaga guys, alam natin yung rules, no? Sa mga, pro, mga, mga, mga pronouns, no guys? Kasi, lumalabas to sa exam mo talaga guys, no? I will assure you. Okay, so let's proceed to compound nouns. Add the possessive suffix to their, to their last element. This is unlike the formation of the plural form. Okay? Error in chief, editor in chief, not editors in chief. So we have to add an S. Okay? Father in laws, then someone else says personal managers. So familiarize that, guys. Okay? Alright, next is compound nouns joined by a conjunction may add the possessive suffix in two ways with different meanings. For example, Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill's to indicate joint ownership guys, meaning dalawa guys, no? May apostrophe S sa ano? Sa huli, tapos Jack's and Jill's it's separate ownership guys. So, iba si Jack's at iba din si Jill. So, may apostrophe S silang dalawa, okay? So then, when separate ownership is indicated, the modified noun must necessarily be plural, okay? Jacks and Jills fail, so dapat plural siya guys, no? Okay? When a noun is followed by a positive, the positive suffix is added to the positive. This is Mr. Lopez, the manager's personal car. So, a positive guys, meaning, ano siya, my kama siya guys, no? Like the manager's personal car, okay? That's it. And let's proceed to forming the possessive of pronouns. Alright, so the possessive case of indefinite pronouns is formed by adding apostrophe S, but the pronoun it takes only an S, okay? So anybody, anybody's. It, then it's, then no one, no one so apostrophe as s guys no okay pero pag pronoun siya guys s lang s lang i add no okay take note for that all right guys so we are now in the last part of our ano no our tutorial so it's objective possessive adjective then possessive pronoun guys so I, you, he, she, it, we, they. So I hope I know that you are already familiar with that case, no? So we have to, ano lang guys, we have to review, no? So read lang ng sa mga ano guys, no? Sa mga words na yan, no? Sa familiarize. Okay, so let's proceed to our ano guys, practice test. So it's your turn, guys. Then let's start now.
Alright, so I hope you learned something today guys. Then if you did click thumbs up, don't forget also to click subscribe and click the bell icon para manotify po kayo sa aking next uploads guys no, mga tutorial. And then please also don't forget to share to your friends para matulungan din natin yung iba. Okay, so balik balikan nyo lang yung itong video guys no. Pag hiling, pag para mapili ng mapamunirize nyo guys, okay? So, that's all for now. And see you in my next video. God bless you guys. Just keep on praying. Just keep on learning guys. Keep on reviewing. Pag may time guys na, pag mayroon kayo mga free time. So, that's all for now. Bye-bye.